welcome to the video guys. We've called out the grooming gangs and the scandals surrounding the report many times on this channel. You guys, along with many others, also signed the petition that actually got some media outlets talking about it and the government having to address it despite the fact they actually planned to whitewash over it. Well, I would say almost as heinous as all of that is this article we have here, pointing out how a Labour councillor has got away with no jail time despite having one million indecent images of children on his phone and computers, which the Mail Online article headlines with here. Pedophile Labour councillor who worked in children's home walks free despite being caught with over 1 million child porn images, including 12-year-old girls being raped. Because he is an absolutely sick fucker and for some reason the judge thought it best not to put him in prison. That is not the worst of it though. You wait and hear what the judge has to say near the end of this article. A paedophile Labour councillor who worked in a children's home has walked free despite being caught with over 1 million child porn images, including 12-year-old girls being raped. Roger Spackman, the sick fucking cunt who was a Labour councillor on Exeter City Council until his arrest in 2017, worked at a secure children's home at the time he started collecting the enormous hoard of images. Exeter Crown Court heard that he was part of an underground internet network called The Other Place. A police investigation in 2017 charged the two frontrunners with offences and other members were exposed. But Judge Peter Johnson jailed Spackman for 10 months, suspended for two years, with 40 days of rehab for possessing a huge number of images. Is this fucking judge for real? You gave this scumbag 10 months suspended sentence for two Two years with 40 days of rehab for possessing what he called a huge number of images. That is, 1 million images, you complete and utter idiot. How on earth does this guy not deserve time in prison? He should be getting fucking years. Spackman of Exeter, Devon, was arrested and 68 electronic devices were found at his home and examined. Judge Johnson said it was an astonishing number of images which included the most serious category A images and other of category B and C. So the judge even admits there he he had the most serious of images going and yet he still didn't put him in fucking prison. What is this country actually coming to? The judge said he was of good character, working hard in public service as a councillor in Exeter before he's fall from grace, which has been dramatic. Now that there has to be the most fucking ridiculous statement I have ever heard when you're talking about someone who has just been convicted of having a million images of child porn on their phones and computers. The judge said he was of good character, working hard in public service, before he's fall from grace. No, he was collecting one million images of children, you fucking stupid bastard. Where on earth are you getting this from? I actually can't believe it. I'm so fucking pissed off with what this guy is saying here. This is a fucking judge. God help the victims of these crimes is all I will say on that. He said Spackman had been abused as a child and played the role of an abused child in this forum. That is no excuse. You're still no right from fucking wrong at the end of the day. Many of the images were inaccessible, but the offences dated back to 2008 seven years after he began working at the secure children's home. So the judge saying he was of good character, working hard in public service before his fall from grace is proved to be a complete and utter load of bollocks there because obviously this proves he was doing it for at least nine or ten years before he was actually arrested. The court heard the most graphic images showed young girls aged 12 being raped. Spackman's barrister Barry White said he likes to pretend he is a young girl who will be abused. He will pretend to be a young girl because he's a sick fuck. Mr. White stressed, none of the images are of people who he knows. He has never sexually assaulted any children, nor would he do so. Oh, so because he doesn't know the people in the images, that makes it fine. This guy really needs to fuck off. The images were sent to him by the other party in the fantasy, which were indicative of what that person liked. He did not get to choose what images, but he accepted them all. So, at the end of the day, he's as bad as the guy sending them. I don't give a fuck. There is no excuse. Prosecutor Thomas Falconer said some of the worst images were found on two devices in his bedroom. He said the images depicted prepubescent girls forced to take part in sexual activity. Mr. White said there had been considerable impact on his life since his arrest in October 2017. No one gives a fuck. Unfortunately, you really won't get what you deserve as we have been proved here by this judge letting you off, essentially. He quit his labour seat the day after his arrest and avoided going out in public because everyone knows what he has done. Spackman admitted between October 2007 and July 2017 to possessing still and moving images of category A, B and C 
as well as possessing a prohibited image and possessing 48 extreme pornographic images involving an animal. So proving to me what the judge said up here that he was of good character before his fall from grace is once again a complete and utter load of bollocks and the judge is just talking shit, making excuses for giving him such a lenient sentence that has left him out in the public. Now like I said, we all run around complaining about the grooming gangs and the fact that their sentences are not long enough or they don't get deported, but this scumbag, if you ask me, is just as bad and I can't believe that the fucking judge didn't put him in prison for it. It really goes to show, as I've said before, that the UK justice system is weak as piss water and completely inept when it comes to protecting the people of this country. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>